one of my most active videos in this channel is about multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365 and how to reset it when a user loses their phone or doesn't have access to the Authenticator app. That video provides details on how to reset multi-factor authentication for any user in your subscription. It works when you have a Microsoft 365 admin account to access the admin center. But what if you are the one who loses access and you are the only administrator? On top of that, you haven't set up all the alternate authentication methods to access your admin account. In this case, your only alternative is to contact Microsoft support. Fortunately, Microsoft has a specialized department or team to work on this type of cases. This is the data protection team. This is the team that will be able to verify your identity before resetting multi-factor authentication for your account. When calling Microsoft support, you need to ask to be transferred to the data protection team. Once you are transferred, you will have to follow a verification process. Once passed, they will reset multi-factor authentication for your admin account, and you will be able to reconfigure your Authenticator app on your new phone. Here is a number that works in the US and Canada. Remember, ask to be transferred to the data protection team. You may find different phone numbers depending on your location. Now, another important question is, how to prevent this from happening or just to avoid to ever happen again? Here's what you can do. Create a backup admin user and add or use a different phone number for authentication. By the way, here is a video that shows you how to create a new admin account. You can also add alternate authentication methods to your existing account. Here are some of the alternate methods that you can add. Text or SMS to your phone. Add a security key or hardware token. Add a second phone number in your account. Use a passkey. Signing with your face, your fingerprint, or a PIN number. Now, let me show you how to start the steps to add alternate methods to your account. First, we will need to access our Microsoft account. You can use, for example, the URL portal.office.com or login.microsoftonline.com. Within our Microsoft account, we will need to click on the circle where we have our profile picture or if we don't have any profile picture, we will see our initials. In this account, we will find it in the bottom left corner. Sometimes you may find it in the upper right corner. So we click here, and then we click on View Account. From here, on the left, we can see Security Info. We can also access it from here, Update Info. It will take us to the same place. Here is where you will see your current authentication methods. However, not all of them can be used to access your account as a second method. For example, we can see here our email address, but this method can be used only for password recovery, but not as a second authentication method to access the account. By the way, the password recovery is disabled in Microsoft 365 by default, except for the admin users. If you want to know how to enable the self-service recovery password, you can watch this video here. We also find here a app password. This can only be used to connect to special devices. This could be, for example, a printer or a scanner where you want to configure your email account. In this test account, we can see a phone number, our regular password, a app password, we can find here two Microsoft Authenticator. This means that we can authorize the access for this account from two different devices where we have configured the Authenticator app and we've added a email account. Again, this is only for password recovery. In this section, I can edit these current methods by clicking here, Change. And I can also delete any of the authentication methods that we have added by just clicking here, delete. This means that we can remove any authentication method that we have added before. Now, if you want to add a new authentication method, you will click here, add sign in method. And we will find the list of different authentication methods that we can add. We need to know that some of these authentication methods will appear here by default. Some of them will have to be enabled from the Microsoft 365 identity portal. 
and that can be done by the admin of the subscription. In this account, we are already able, for example, to add a pass key. As we can read here, we can sign with a face, the fingerprint, or a PIN. Then we have a security key. This could be a key that you can connect via USB, Bluetooth, or an NFC device. Then we have the option of Microsoft Authenticator, and we can approve the sign-in requests or use a one-time passcode. We also have the option to add a hardware token. In this case, you sign in with a code from the hardware token. Since we already add our mobile phone, we have the option to add a office phone. Actually, it could be any phone where we can receive a call with a code that we can enter for authentication. And we have the option to add an add password. Again, this add password only works to authenticate some specific devices. So in conclusion, as a second method to access our account, we can use the pass key, the security key, the authenticator, the hardware token, and the office phone. So for each method, you will have to follow the steps that you will be prompted. For example, if I want to add another device with a Microsoft Authenticator, I click here, and then it will tell me the steps that I need to follow in order to complete this. In order to add another device with the Microsoft Authenticator. Losing access to your Microsoft 365 admin account is not a pleasant experience. It actually can be very stressful. I hope this and my other videos on this subject can help you resolve the problems related to multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to learn about all the tips and tricks on Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you have any comment or question, please leave them there down below. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time. Remember, stay secure in the cloud and keep tech savvy.